first item is resolution 2015-270, which we have pulled, but then put in the place um, a conversation regarding an extension on our current contract. So the mayor said we've asked us to pull the uh, agreement, the contract for solid waste recycling and collection services, and in its place we need to put in, the council will put in a, an agreement, I mean uh, an extension of the current contract until we have a, a signed agreement by the council. Question? My question was the 30 days is enough as, as you know, we started this process mm -hmm. a year and a half ago, I think, and uh, so I'd like to see it as extended through August 30th. Give us two months. Other comments from council? I have no issue with that. I mean, if we get it done sooner, we get it done sooner. This yeah. prevents us from wrapping to another extension. Yeah. I agree with so this may not have to do with the extension, but I'm say it. Um, regarding the letters that were sent, there were some very specific numbers that were called out. Can we evaluate? I know the King County businesses won't that won't be have change. Right. For the Pierce County businesses, can we look at what the actual charge will be and validate if those are accurate numbers? So and that was a discussion that we had had earlier too, and I think you're going to see that at the July 6th workshop. We're going to have some comparison so that council has a better form of discussion than they before with this contract. Okay. <coughs> That's, it would be very helpful if there were pictures and tables and graphs. And a 15 page PowerPoint. Yeah, with no on. Um, with clip art. No clip art, yeah. Oh, there are cookies. Can we get it on our I don't think we'll, we'll give you spreadsheets. Yeah. I'll give you spreadsheets so you can look at them. And, and, and make sure that it's, it's apples to apples. Right. I'll do my best. Yes, it will. Okay. The information we have right now is not too good. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do we need one contract extension or do we need two? Two. We need two. 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 <laughs> not abandoning the so um, one of the, the thought processes that took place as well is we probably want to get this extension in place as quickly as possible. So that would mean a special meeting after the workshop on July 6th. And so it's council to get that. Otherwise we wait until the 13th and our contract expires at the end of June. Yeah. <coughs> so, I just wanted to bring it forward with council that we'll probably have a, the extension on our workshop and have a special meeting after to approve to move forward or just close off. Okay? Is there any reason we could take action tonight? We don't have the we don't have any We don't have We've got to put the, everything together and we got to work with our attorneys and all the decks in a row. <laughs> It'll be very similar to the one we did last August, so I should just take a day and put all together. But we have a meeting next week, and we really don't want to call it this one. We didn't ask this to do, so I think um, it, it works out for everybody because it gives them time as well. Right. Give everybody time to Given the, uh, some of the comments we've heard uh, about our past extension and the way it's interpreted on various sides, are we confident that? Uh, both companies would extend the contract month by month? We will find out. Just from what I've heard, I can. Okay. It doesn't mean it could change my Just checking, because <laughs> they haven't always I know. sounded too friendly about uh, what's been going on so far. Agreed. Okay. Any further comments? So you will be seeing this on the July 6th workshop agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is resolution 2015-263 of Asian and Lucy Street, the intersection of Third Avenue and West Valley Highway. Council, good evening again. Uh, resolution 2015-263 would give authorization from council to staff to be able to abate the tree uh, on West Valley Highway at 502 Third uh, Avenue if the property owner does not uh, remove it by June 30th. And like I communicated earlier for, for the public hearing, the uh, property owner came in and we had a conversation last Wednesday. 
uh, and he indicated that he would have it taken care of, but it is my recommendation that council go ahead and uh, pass the resolution. It just provides a little bit of emphasis to make sure that uh, we can get this uh, tree abated. Um, I, I will point out that uh, even if it is passed, there is a provision later in the resolution where it says if we do accumulate cost, we have the option to bill for it, and the, the verbiage is may. So again, council, uh, I remember conversation last week whether or not we wanted to bill for it as a city or we just wanted to have the, the hazard abated. So I share that with you tonight that there is still flexibility uh, in this, even if it is passed. Uh, and that would be my recommendation. And, and if there are questions about this, I'm certainly here to answer them. Questions from council? Council Member Kate. Right now, the way the resolution reads, it has to be abated by June 15th. Is there any issues with uh, changing the, 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 the dates to June, July 15th? The deadline is the 30th and I believe I'll find the page here, but it's in the resolution under number six. Number six. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. I'd still like to extend it to July 15th. until you have the first part of the resolution. That's true, too, That's true. But, <laughs> uh, so we haven't even amend, or we haven't even mo made a motion on the regular. Move to approve resolution uh, 2015-263. Second. Okay, Council Member Jones. As I've uh, already expressed, I think that uh, we're changing the existing date as we talked resolution as written, um, hopefully knowing that the city uh, management team will work with the owner of the 
property and as well as you do a due diligence to remove the tree. Yeah. If anything comes up that you can't get it out by the 30th, that we will give them flexibility to make sure it's going to work. Councilmember Alder, public works director has been working for six months and I think that's all we have. Put the motion on the floor. Is there any comment from the audience? Comments from the audience. Further, further comments from Council. Council Member Yes, I'd like to extend the, the deadline to July 15th. Uh, as a landowner who said people want to come in on my land and do what they want on it, violate uh, state laws and everything else, and not give me a, a choice in the matter, and I'm you know, indebted to $130,000 to a homeowners association because of it. Um, I think we should seek voluntary compliance, and I don't think that while we have been working diligently to contact the, the landowner, contact has just recently been made, and I don't think it's unreasonable to extend the two-week deal, especially in light of the holidays. So I'd like to make a motion to amend the motion on the floor to provide a uh, July 15th deadline to have it. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Thank you. So you spoke to which for the comment council to make that Councilmember Walker. No, okay, so we'll call the council or a voice vote. A voice vote? Is it for the amendment? For the amendment? Okay. I just want to make sure you're gonna have you and me. So all those in favor of the friendly amendment of extending it to July fifteenth, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? No. We'll call the council, please. <laughs> 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 Councilmember Carverding? No. Councilmember Jones? No. Councilmember Cave? Aye. Councilmember Oliveira? No. Councilmember Putnam? Aye. Councilmember Steiger? Aye. Councilmember Walker? Aye. Okay. So, now all of our, those in favor of the resolution as amended to extend the deadline to July 15th, any further comments from council? Council Member Putnam. I would note that uh, uh, as far as staff certainly has the option of providing leniency, but the uh, language of the resolution as uh, presented does say that he shall, without further notice or process, take all necessary actions to abate if it uh, passes the deadline. So there's certainly no requirement for leniency, especially after we've extended the deadline. Further comments from council? Okay, so just to be sure, are there any comments from the audience? Okay, and then we'll call council, please. Councilmember Jones? Aye. Councilmember Cave? Aye. Councilmember Oliveira? Aye. Councilmember Putnam? Aye. Councilmember Steiger? Aye. Councilmember Walker? Aye. Councilmember Gerberson? Aye.